Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to recreate a look from James Charles, which was called his Rainbow Festival makeup look. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, prime my eyelids just to make sure that my eyeshadow will stay in place all day. And if you don't know by now, I always use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Vault, which is my absolute favorite primer. If you don't know by now, then I'm taking this Morphe 35B eye palette. And the first shade I'm starting with is this white shade, which is a matte eyeshadow. I'm taking my MAC 2 for 2 brush and I'm pressing this right underneath the brow bone um, to highlight my brow. Then I'm going to take a soft green shade from the same Morphe palette. And I'm going to blend this using my Sigma E40 brush and I'm just trying to softly blend this in the inner corner area of my crease. And I didn't went in with too much product at first hand. I'm going to slowly build it up. So I'm going back in with more and more product. Then I'm taking this Makeup Geek eyeshadow. I will put all the names of all the products I use in the description bar in case you're curious. And I just wanted to darken it up, but it's not really necessary. I didn't feel like it made a huge difference. Then I'm taking this blue shade and I'm going to blend this next to that green shade using a tinier blending brush this time, which is a blending brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Also blending it slightly on top of that green to kind of make sure that these two shades melt into each other. And I went in back a few times in that blue shade to make it more blue, to make it more pop. Then I'm taking my Morphe M506 brush, which is a very tiny blending brush, blending a little bit more of that green around the edges, just because I felt like the blue kind of took over. Then I'm taking this purple shade using that Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush again, and blending this on top of the blue eyeshadow, um, and kind of next to it. I want to create like a sort of ombre, just like James Charles did in his video, um, where it goes from green to blue, to purple and then to pink um, he did his video is called rainbow festival and he showed like on one of his eyes he had like um, the colors I use in his video and on the other eye he had like different colors and he only showed the part where he used like other shades but not the part where he used the shades that I use in this video so it was kind of hard for me to like kind of know how he did it I just kind of tried to recreate it and give my own twist to it um, but yeah, I found it really hard like when I went in with this pink eyeshadow to make it blend into the uh, purple. I don't know why, but I just felt like I could have done this a little bit better. I saw in his video he used black in his outer V as well and I didn't do that so maybe that will make a difference. Uh, but now I'm going to use this white concealer from Kat Von D and I'm going to use this to cut the crease. Because I'm going to use a white eyeshadow so I felt like why not use a white concealer underneath it. I do have to say I kind of regret using this concealer because it started creasing. And then I was kind of forced to go on top of it with glitter, uh, which wasn't really what I wanted to do. It turned out nice though, but it wasn't like the plan. So I'm not sure if I will use this concealer again since it creases. And when it comes to concealer, I just wanted to like be in place all day. So then I'm going to use this white eyeshadow and I'm going to press this right on top of the concealer, hoping that it would like lock in place. Um, but later you will see that it starts creasing like where my own natural crease is, which is a bit lower than the crease I created. Then I'm taking this very light pink shade. I'm going to blend this and press this around the edges of where I created the cut crease. Now I'm taking this um, glitter from Smolder. I'll put the name in the description bar. To make this stick on the eyelid, I'm using a MAC Mixing Medium, which is like a very tacky consistency. And it's like clear, so you can't see it. So first I always dip my brush into it. I press it on the eyelid, then I go in the glitters and I press the glitters on top of that MAC Mixing Medium Gel. Then I'm taking this Sigma Beauty Gel Eyeliner. I'm going to create a line above my lash line. Um, I'm just going to create a simple line, no wing, because I felt like if I would do like a wing, you can't really see that pink outer end. 
situation so I just kept it with this simple line just to hide the lash band later on and on top of it I'm now going in with the NYX matte liquid liner which is just a matte liquid liner but this one is like very affordable and also really nice um, easy to apply and it's really black and I really like that when it comes to liquid liner now I'm taking that vibrant pink shade again which I also used for my outer V and I'm going to apply a little bit more and dragging it a little bit more like downwards underneath my lower lash line because I want to use those same shades as I use in my crease underneath my lower lash line and for this I'm using a tiny pencil brush. Then I'm taking the blue shade and I'm going to blend it right next to it. I felt like because I still had like some pink um, eyeshadow on my brush it kind of transformed into purple so I try to went like back into that blue eyeshadow a few times to make it look more blue. Right now you can see it starts to like look more blue. Um, so I do have to warn if you use that same brush it will look more purple. Now I'm taking that green shade and blending this um, next to that blue shade and also slightly on top of it um, to make it blend into each other. Now I'm taking my flat diviner brush from Sigma Beauty which also comes in my Sigma collaboration brush kit and I'm using a black eyeshadow and I'm pressing this like as tight as possible towards my lash line and this is why I really like that brush because you can just really easy create a very thin line and that's what I really like about this brush. Then I'm going to use this white pencil from MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to use this for in my waterline. This will make my eyes appear bigger and since I also used white on the eyelids, I felt like using white in the waterline will look better instead of using like a nude pencil. Then I'm going to curl my lashes using this lash curler from Tarte Cosmetics. And then it's time for some mascara. I'm using this Tarte Cosmetics Light Scarma Lashes Mascara. One of my all-time favorite mascaras. I don't really like it for my upper lashes, but it makes my bottom lashes look really long. And for my upper lashes, I use fake eyelashes anyway. So I'm going to use these Lily Lashes. I'll put the name in the description bar. Um, I applied them off camera and then I realized I didn't apply like a highlighter in my inner corner. So I'm using this shade from the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And then here you have the end result of the eyes. Now I'm going to finish off my face. I already applied foundation and concealer. And then I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Powder. I'm going to set this all over my face and using a big fluffy brush. And I know I still need to buy a new one because this one broke. It's my all time favorite brush from Morphe. I'm going to take this new bronzer from Jouer and it contains two bronzers and one of them is called Suntan. If you're following me for a while, you know this used to be my favorite bronzer bronzer but mine got empty. I was thinking about buying a new one but now they sent me this one and it contains that same bronzer which I'm really happy about so now I can start using it again. Then I'm going to take this medium well medium deep bronzer from MAC Cosmetics the mineralized skin finish powders and applying this right on top of where I just contoured my face um, to kind of warm up my skin because this has more of a orangey or warm undertone. Um, like more warm than the Shoei one. And I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill um, Becca Cosmetics Coloration Champagne Pop Highlighter and I'm applying this on the cheekbones. Um, I did have some texture on my cheekbones so I didn't apply too much. Also I applied a little bit on my nose and above my lips. And for my blush I'm going to use this blush palette from Jouer and this is just a very soft blush um, color. It's like it has a pink undertone. I always like to use blushes with a pink undertone or a peach undertone. Now I'm taking this uh, lip pencil from NYX Cosmetics. I'm going to overdraw my lips. I'm not sure if I'm the only one but sometimes I line my lips and I look so crazy and sometimes it looks really good. I still haven't really found that way that it always looks good. I feel like applying lip liner is quite hard. <laughs> now I'm using this lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills which is a new lipstick color and this shade is so gorgeous. It has become my favorite lipstick. I don't really use lipstick very often. I always tend to go for a liquid lipstick. So this is definitely my current favorite lipstick. And I'm using this new lip gloss from The Balm Cosmetics on top of it, which makes it look more glossy. And then here you have the end result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will get a new microphone cable I can so I can finally do talk-throughs again. Um, because every time I do a talk-through, my 
microphone isn't working somehow. So hopefully for my next video I can do a talk through again. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This will be really helpful for my YouTube channel. And of course I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys! Uh, this will bite your tongue, no one is forever young.